Hi, I'm Jamie from Synaptic and today we're going to run through how to use the voice control feature in Synaptic. The voice control feature enables you to operate the menus within Synaptic along with other features on your device just by using your voice. Voice control can be accessed from the first main menu screen and is the third option down. Simply select voice control by pressing it or move your finger up or down the screen until you hear the voice control menu announced and release. Once in the voice control menu, tap the screen and wait for the beep. Then, speak a command and the voice control will activate. There are many different commands you can use. If you need help, just press the screen, wait for the beep and say, what can I say? This will display a list of available commands. What can I say? Multiple pages. What's the time? Shows and speaks back the time. Voice Today, control. we'll go through some Tap example screen. commands to help you get started. Firstly, say. use what voice control say? to contact people. For example, say call followed by the person's name to initiate a call. Call work. Alternatively, you could say, send a text message, followed by the recipient's name, and voice dictation will be launched so you can compose your message. Send a text message to work. Keyboard, type message, speech recognition mode on. Command Finally, you can say, send an email, followed by a person's name, and then dictate an email. Please be aware, for all of these options, you will need to have entered the contact details into your address book previously. Send an email to work. Please type the email subject. Speech recognition mode on. Voice control. Secondly, Tab voice speech. control can be used to navigate Synaptic and other applications on the device. Simply speak any main menu option, such as settings, and the voice control feature will launch this option. Settings. Phone settings. Page one of two. Voice control. Additionally, Tap you can launch screen. any downloaded application Command by saying the screen. name of the application. Say. For example, what you could I say, say iPlayer, YouTube, or WhatsApp to launch these applications. WhatsApp. Service. App is running in background. WhatsApp. Voice control. Thirdly, Use voice control to open different types of media on your Synaptic device. To launch a specific live TV channel, say watch, followed by the channel. So for example, you could say watch BBC One, and this would launch live BBC One. Watch BBC One. Landscape view, please wait. Alternatively say, listen to, followed by the radio station, this would launch live radio. So for example, you could say, listen to BBC Radio 1, and this would launch live BBC Radio 1. Listen to BBC Radio 1. Fourthly, obtain information about your device using voice control. Simply say, what's the date, to get the current date. What's the date? The date is Thursday the 3rd of August 2023. Or say, what's the time, to get the current time. What's the time? The time is 3.43pm and 36 seconds. Also, inquire about your phone's battery charge by saying, battery... This will announce your current battery level. Battery, battery level, 25%. Finally, you can use voice control to search the web. Say, search the web for, followed by what information you are looking for. For example, if you want to know today's top news stories, say, search the web for today's top news stories to display relevant content. Search the web for today's top news stories. Web browser.
browser search page one of four. Sky News, UK News, the latest headlines from the UK News. So today we've run through some of the main features of voice control. If you ever forget a certain command or you want to discover new commands, simply say, what can I say? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any more content suggestions, leave a comment below. And for more information, please call us on 0191 9097 909 or visit our website at www.synaptic.com.